Okay, guys, Hunter Killer. I don't know too much about this picture other than it stars Gerard Butler and the guy who played in those Batman movies, Gary Oldman. Yeah, <laughs> no, Gary Oldman's very good. He's very good. So I hear that it's got some B-movie qualities to it. Other than that, that's my anticipation level going into Hunter Killer. Let's check it out. Okay, guys, so Hunter Killer, my final thoughts after a day or so of just letting it sit and sink in. I have to say that it's it's a good it's a good movie, but it's not great and it's not mind blowing. There's nothing in it that makes you go, ah, ah, that's terrible. I don't want to watch this. It's long. It's a little bit long. It's too long. It's about two hours in length. And if you're just looking for this kind of mindless, well, it's not really mindless, but it's this, this small little action film that's involves submarines and, you know, uh, uh, an elite team going in behind the enemy lines. This is it. Hunter killer. It's, it's, it's fairly well done. It's fairly well acted, but it's not epic. It's not mind blowing. It's just there. And it's, uh, it's a quality watch. It's serviceable. Yes. There we go. It's a serviceable action movie and it reflects in my score there it is acting one directing one story one cinematography is a one because they were going for some things in it that were yeah interesting to see with all the submarines and stuff score was serviceable and the watchability factor is a one adding up all that that's a 5.5 for hunter killer right just above the midline it's 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 just there. Hunter Killer. All right. Yeah, there we go. That's it. My name is James, and you're watching Mirror Domains. If you've liked what you've seen, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. <laughs>